checking my thing here. See, I oh. knew a wire came off. Yeah, Sam has a backup wire attached to this truck, so it makes a sound like beep, beep, beep when you're backing up. So he went over some bumps yesterday and it came undone. Definitely not a necessity. Well, yeah, not really. I don't need it right now. Well, if you can fix it, you can fix it. Anyway, good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. It is Monday, but it's a holiday. So it's Monday. It's like Sunday and Monday put together because we don't have to do anything. <laughs> it's a holiday. But because it's a holiday, we definitely want to do something. So we are going to do something. So we planned this big get together with some of our family. Not like all of our family, but just some of our family. And we were gonna go to the beach with everybody. And then it decided it was gonna rain. There's a leash. So we all decided that it's not a beach day. The humidity is gone. Holy moly. The water drained twice in the last, like maybe week, week and a half. I'll show you how much water we got. It might not seem like a lot, <laughs> but it's a lot to me. That is a lot of water. A lot of water for my garden for the fall when the water stops flying from the sky. Falling from the sky. But anyways, so we all decided that today is not really a beach day. But then we that's all we planned for this long weekend. We just planned to like do stuff on our farm and try and fix Sophie's saddle, which took me a long time. And then we decided that we were going to go to the beach. So then Sam said, you know what? Like, well, who cares about rain? Why can't we go to the beach anyway? So instead of going to the beach with our family and our friends, which I might be able to get some of them to still come. We already bought the tickets. You have to buy tickets. Like you have to buy, reserve a spot uh, long before you go. So online. So we already paid for it. Why not just go enjoy ourselves and instead of bringing all of our family and friends, bring our dogs. So I'm excited and I'm gonna show you guys the three dogs that we are gonna bring. We pick the dogs to bring with us based on who we think will enjoy it the most. I opened the car to look for a halter for my dog, a harness I mean for my dog and <laughs> Ruby definitely wants to be included in the dogs that are coming to the beach with us. Come on Rubes, you have to get out. And apparently Ellie wants to go to the beach. Come on. Come on! <laughs> Ruby really wants to go to the beach? Ruby really wants to go to the beach. Yeah. Well, somebody's gotta keep Daisy company. So Sam went shopping the other day and bought a ton of stuff for the puppy. That's how I knew the puppy was staying. And in typical Laura fashion, I can't find it. Henny, Henny, I can't find Ellie's harness. I suspect that I threw it out yesterday. I was cleaning up the living room and I threw out one that was really tiny. But would you look at that? It fits, it almost fits. It's a tiny bit loose, but maybe I can adjust it. It's just a little bit loose on her shoulders here. Oh my goodness, you maybe got a new harness. It fits, come here, Ellie. Stay, look it, it fits her. And it has a matching leash. It's actually getting hot out now. This is social media, you guys. That means I have to explain every single choice that we make in great detail for so that as many people as possible can understand where we're coming from. We had decided on these three puppies based on who we think will enjoy the excursion the best. I'm bringing Ellie and that is because she is a water dog. She's super well socialized and she enjoys going places and she loves going to the beach. We've taken her before. We are bringing Molly because Molly, again, loves the water. She is very well trained, listens beautifully and um, she's a pleasure to take with us. She loves the water. She is a water dog just like Ellie and she is really well behaved. Sam really wants to bring his puppy. So our vet believes that you can start taking your puppy out places after their second set of shots. She had her second set of shots on Friday. We got her on Tuesday, got her into the vet. She got her second set on Friday. And that makes it a little bit iffy if she should go. She has both sets of shots and the vet didn't say that we had to wait, but I'm pretty sure I remember in the past that you have to wait like a few days after like a week after getting their shot or something but anyway sam wants to take her and so we're gonna take her isn't that the most beautiful sight i wish we could take you guys so um before i finish that conversation i'm gonna jump into a whole another conversation because the ducks are here now and i want to tell you guys something about them 
our little white duck we got him first and he it was a, like a few it was a good month or so before we ended up being able to find some more call ducks for him to have well he's become the mom of these call ducks we have two boys and a girl of the new ones and he leads them around they walk in a line a straight line and our little white guy goes in front and leads them all over the property he's super cute super sweet they have a little pool that they swim in in the back so anyways back to the whole dog story so we're gonna take her she um is very well behaved holy moly one of our best behaved dogs ever this breed like you don't even know about breeds until you know about breeds I've read so much about this breed because Sophie wanted it and I thought it was an awful breed. Like when I read about it, I read so many things. I know a lot of people have these as pups, not even just farm dogs, but just keep them in their house and have them like living in their house with them. I've got a lot of messages from people that have them as, as solely pet dogs and they say that they're amazing. Anyway, they're really similar. They are really similar in in intelligent level and activity level. Molly even, she, this dog has less energy. Remember Molly has had a lot of energy when she was a baby. Holy crap, it's hot out. It is hot now. We should call everybody and tell them to come. We're not bringing Daisy and the reason we're not bringing Daisy is because she doesn't enjoy going places that are not familiar to her. She is trained enough that she can handle it and she can go there. It's not her favorite thing. So we're not bringing her. And the fact that she's deaf and the fact that she uh, likes to know where she is and she likes to know her environment. And we're not bringing a Daisy and we're leaving a pet home with her so that she can stay, so that she can keep her company. And so we're leaving Ruby home with her because Ruby and Daisy are like this. In fact, Ruby is like this with every one of our pets. This is just what we ended up with for today's adventure. We have three dogs and we're going to the beach and I'm super excited. Are you excited, Sam? To see if your puppy loves water? Yeah. Do you think your puppy will love water? Yeah, who knew? They are water dogs. She is a water dog. If we, when we put her water bowl down for her, holy cow! She got. We gotta have a towel underneath it. She splashes and splashes and digs in that water. It's her, one of her favorite things to do. I also just wanted to say that our dogs are incredibly well trained. All of them. The puppy is just up and coming. Even Daisy is super well trained. We can open our back door and open our open the back door and let them all run wild in the backyard, and none of them would even ever leave our property. Ellie has had a couple of times where she's tried it and I've had to remind her that we don't do that and now she's really good. Every time we take our dog someplace where people always are telling us how well trained they are, we never have altercations with people, we never have issues where they jump up on people, we never have problems where they do anything negative in a social situation that causes other people issues. Are our dogs professionally trained? Absolutely not. Are they trained as a house pet, absolutely. So they, they know all the rules and all the regulations that have to be followed when we leave the house and go for an outing. So we're excited to have a happy, fun time. Guys, I have to tell you this story I've been following on social media. It's local to us. Essentially, this steer, you guys know what a steer is? A steer is a cow that's been fixed. Usually they fix a boy so that it can be used for meat because once boys get hormones, it can taint the taste of the meat. So some people that are kind of local to us um, purchased this steer from its breeder to use it as a sacrifice, a religious sacrifice. So they bought this, so they delivered this steer to these people who were going to use it as a sacrifice and the people weren't prepared and didn't have proper fencing and the steer broke free. So the steer, it's been like probably a month now, it's running at large, it's running free. People see it all the time. They're like, uh, there's a, there's like a Facebook page about this this steer, this cow, and he's running free. People post pictures of him, snapshots of him. They've named him Oreo because he looks like an Oreo. He's a really good quality, nice breed of cow, um, an expensive cow. People sh capture all these pictures of him and post them online, and it's like sparking this huge debate online. Everybody's trying to figure out how to catch this cow, and nobody can catch him. All of our people that are in charge of like wildlife and animals, all of our municipal people, 
keep passing the buck saying like it's not our responsibility it's not our responsibility the police don't want to shoot him because for obvious reasons everybody loves him you have people online saying like this is awful I'll take him it's not fair he should be a pet and then there are people who are like well it's it's food it should be butchered and it should be fed to our homeless people and used for our community and the people that let this cow go free and bought it for a sacrifice should be charged and there's so much backlash so much controversy over this guy and he is just living life to the fullest he is running free so far right now he's looking fat and happy and he's obviously fine ways to drink it's been hot and humid and insane weather here uh, and he is still running at large and living life so I just want to ask you guys what would you like to see happen in a situation like this all right we are here at the beach isn't it gorgeous and look at I can film it so it looks like we're the only ones here for a long way off all right they're gonna go to the bathroom are gonna see how Kirby likes the water well she was standing in a puddle already so I think she's I know, so we went to one bathroom and it was closed. <sighs> There's this whole thing in Ontario where like people are pooping on the beach. <laughs> and now I understand why. They lock the bathrooms, like the bathroom is locked. Come on, why are you falling over? Uh oh, I'm stuck with two dogs, hold on. All right, let's go. <laughs> Ellie's so excited. Uh, she's on too. Uh, she's on too. Oh, it's warm. Is it? Yeah. You take my shoes off then. Kirby, come on. We brought toys and stuff, but we're gonna wait till Sam gets back so that everybody can take a dog. <laughs> she likes it. Ooh, it's soft. Come on, Ellie Bear. <laughs> my little girl likes it too. <laughs> Look at her! I think she's a. Uh, she is for sure! <laughs> a beach puppy. See, we know which one's dogs will like the water. All I can say is thank goodness we didn't bring five dogs on account of Gabby and Sam took off to find a bathroom and left us with three dogs. Ellie is clearly enjoying the sand. <laughs> and so is Kirby over there enjoying the sand. Sophie, look at your puppy. And Molly is being perfect. <laughs> look at how quiet our, our crew is though. They're just noticing now that there are other dogs here. Ellie's like, I'd like to play with you. Come on over. And Kirby's like, I just really want to roll in the mud. Good girl. Hey, you be quiet. Are you gonna swim once they get back? Oh yeah, I'm gonna swim. I love to just get hot and then go in the, and cool down. Look at how good you are. So uh, the rule here is all dogs on leash, except for a lot of people are let their dogs off the leash because they know that they can handle them and that they are well behaved. And Molly will definitely go off the leash. The puppy might go off the leash with with Sophie just standing right by her. She'll probably keep her leash on, just let it go for her to chase a ball, but kind of be right there to catch her. She's definitely interested in what's happening, like people walking by and stuff, but she's been really good, really well behaved. And Molly is always perfect. <laughs> but these are our two quietest dogs. Super quiet. What do you see? She's like, I hear a dog barking. Oh, they're back. Oh, they're back? Warm. What's that? On a wave of good feelings. Well, it's just another Friday in paradise. So bring your A game. Cause you know this party won't stop. Never run out of time, sipping strawberry lime, you know I wanna share it with you.
There she goes. There's a lot going on. She's like, I'll come with you. I want to go on a boat. Ellie's with me. We're just sunbathing here. She's just checking everything out, making sure everybody's safe. I love quiet dogs. It's funny how when you look into the sun, everything is black. Like you can't even tell if Gabby's wearing pants in this. Ellie is here burying a cheesy. She buried the whole cheesy. There was a cheesy laying right there. <laughs> Isn't that funny? None of our dogs bury stuff but her. The other day we had pizza and Sam gave her a little tiny piece of crust and I found it the next day under Sam's pillow. Baby, if you're looking for some crazy, Yeah, Daisy's definitely more of a guard dog type and she would be barking when people walk by. She wouldn't be bad. The thing about Daisy is that because she's deaf, if she gets excited by something and she gets pulled, drawn away, she knows to always check in with us. But, but because she's a dog and there's so many things going on here, it would be easier for her to get, to get distracted and then forget to check in with us. And we would never be able to call her to get her back. So it's just easier. At this beach, there's this little river area. All right, let's see. Not that much warmer. Not much warmer? No. I love it. I love it. You love it, Ellie? And then there's this gorgeous sandy beach on the other side. Look at how gorgeous it is here. And it's not very full here. It's not very busy today because it was supposed to rain all day. <laughs> Come on! She's definitely a water dog. Why are there bubbles in the sand? Why are there bubbles in the sand? Yeah. I don't know. Wait, look at this. This is really cool. Watch. The sand just totally breaks away. That is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, you guys, for the first time, I had no idea that Ellie is one of those, those dogs that like balls. Watch, 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 watch. She doesn't let go. Wait, wait, go get it. Bring it back, Ellie, bring it back. Bring it back, little girl. Wait, give it to me. Look. Get it, Ellie, get it. Bring it back. It's a wild. Oh my gosh, we are gonna, come on, come on, come on Ellie, go get it. Oh, don't run into that person. Come here, come on Ellie. We are packing it up and leaving. We've been here for a few hours. The baby just woke up, literally slept the whole visit except for she's exhausted. Yep, this dog has way too much energy for us. <laughs> That's hilarious. She actually is our most laid back puppy. Literally, this is a new, I had no idea. I don't even know why. I've thrown a ball for her a few times and she's never gotten excited about it ever. And now all of a sudden, she just, Gabby threw a ball for Molly and she did that terrier thing. Well, she, she went crazy for the ball. And I never taught her how to fetch or anything. And she just like picked it up. Look, there's dogs walking all over the place and she's just into her ball. You're a ball girl. We need to do fly ball with you. And just like that, we are home and puppy's still tired. She had lots to drink at the beach. Everybody had lots to drink. It's about to pour, you guys. It's about to damn pour. But look who's here. When we got home, the little ducks were in the barn.
One of Ellie's, Ellie's ears are getting too heavy with the hair on them. They're flopping over. <laughs> I gotta trim her up. We had such a great day, you guys. The pups were perfect. Absolutely perfect. She just went pee. Don't you know that you're beautiful?